are such an asshole. Hey kids, old cat. I got coffee in my system. I did laundry, cooked up some chicken, and now I log into Asshole Consulting. And I just, I, it will be, I find it funny. I find it hilarious. Cappy, here's my problem. Da -da 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 -da. And this even military guy here. Da -da -da. Okay, it'll be this much. Crickets chirping. And I give a pretty good discount. I give a pretty good discount to military people. And my prices are incredibly fair. Incredibly fair. And then like, oh yeah, okay, sounds good. Da -da -da -da. Then I look at the PayPal. I'm like, did you pay? No. So I... Let's have a chat, millennials. Let's have a chat, Gen Zers. You seem to be going down the same path. I know, but it sucks. But you have to pay for shit. I know. Now, I know your leader, uh, Teeth and Eyes, Cortez, she's going to make you believe that uh, you won't have to pay for everything because all those socialist Latin America countries are just kicking ass, right? Huh? Who, who's on the first boat to Venezuela, huh? But you see, in order for there be, to be production, you have to pay people money for their labor. Otherwise, nothing gets produced. You, you see, when everything is free and you don't have to pay for things, well, then who is, who is going to build the roads? Who is going to produce the food? You, you ever see, look, pictures of Soviet grocery stores. Pictures of Venezuelan grocery stores, their, their shelves. Do you notice how there's nothing there? See, and this is where you parasites of the world, uh, in the United States, around the world, where you just don't get it. You think that there's just robots or this uh, quasi-government corporate work cloud that just shits out production and produces the things. No, it's humans that produce those things. Unless you're going to pay them they're not going to work. They're not going to produce. And then there are no things for you to consume. And in some really bad cases like food. Look up the multiple, the multiple um, starvations, what do they call it? Uh, famines under the Soviet empire. Look up Mao Zedong. You think Mao Zedong actually put 50 million bullets in 50 million people's heads? No, a lot of it was starvation. Because you guys said, well, everything's free now, okay. Let's see how that works. I mean, this, this low IQ, childish expectation of free shit. Do you notice how everybody who wants free shit does really bad in life? Have you figured that out? And the people that work hard and become engineers and doctors and entrepreneurs and capitalists and all that, they're the ones with the money? Now, admittedly, if you inherited, fuck you, okay? I understand that. I understand where you're coming from there. But, oh my God, look at Bill Gates, he's got up. Well, Bill Gates kind of did some huge ass shit for the world, don't you think? Oh, oh, you know, the, the Jeff Bezos guy, he's up. Well, you know, I kind of like the convenience of not having to go to fucking homie to pot, wait for some dipshit to come along and like, oh, can I help you? Yeah, well, do you have any of this? Oh, this is work here. <laughs> he spared us the pain. The pain of having to go to Homie Depot and Lowe's and Menards and look at it and say, hey, can you get it? Where I can't find anyone. You spend eight hours looking for one screw, you know, kind of like a nightclub. Ha <laughs> ha. We he spared us that pain. And he spared us having to go to Walmart. Spared us thinking like, God, oh, I might get infected and look like one of these people from the Who Dang Diggly Dang Dang Diggleyville of Wyoming. Oh, I don't want to ride a rascal. He prevented that. But you were, oh, you were going to rich bastard. Oh, you fucking. Where is Occupy Wall Street now? Where are you people? All you guys went to Occupy Wall Street. Sitting there smoking your pot, majoring in stupid shit because you're all a bunch of lazy, no good pieces of worthless American shit. What? 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 So. I am sorry. I'm terribly sorry. In order for me to put food on the table, or make the chicken that I just did, to pay for the electric bill for the laundry that I'm drying my clothes now, to buy my fancy clothes at Goodwill, I need to be compensated for my time. And you <laughs> just, and you can tell, it's almost like they have a scent. Like they got a personality based on how they don't respond. Oh yeah, cool, this and that, that and that, dude. I'm like, 
did you find, and I, my, my instructions are very clear and very purposely designed on my email scripts and everything like that. Inform me here when you do. This guy didn't inform. So I was like, yeah, man, okay, I want this kind of response. Da, da, da. I'm like, all right, where's the money? Hey, let me know when you make a payment. Crickets chirping. Oh, God, it's great. And the, and you type of people, you type of scumbags, and I don't have to lift a finger. I don't have to lift a finger because you dishonest, and that's what you guys are. You dishonest people who try and get shit for free, you never win. You know, the best that happens to you is you get your socialist utopia and you're thrown in the fucking gulag. Well, maybe you're not thrown in the gulag, but you get to eat borscht and gruel. You get to, you get to live <coughs> in the uh, Ravelas, favelas, I think it's favelas, in, 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 in uh, Brazil. You get to live with the costs and consequences of the mistakes of your laziness. And you're just going to, you, you might as well die, honestly. You're not going to have a great life. you just not. If you're really lucky, you get to be one of the leaders, okay? You get to be a Betsy Hodges you get to be an Ocasio Cortez. Well, I'm going to give everybody else your money, but I'm going to take a huge ass commission. You notice how Bernie Sanders drives a Fer was a Ferrari and an Audi A8, A10? Okay, if you're really lucky, but you're not connected or rich, are you? You didn't come from rich parents like they did, did you? All right. Time to get the work done. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.